Hello, Internet! I am Tormund Zimnis, and welcome back to the Game Corner. One word! BOOM! Let's go. Of course, I have to check over here because, oh wait, look! It's Cypher Coin! Ugh! Oh, nine! I missed the Cypher Coin. That's not good. Ooh! Bomb! Oh, no, come on. Bomb! Aha! Delicious fishy! Yes! Got the cypher coin! Good to go, let's go! Oh. Sweet! More of those! Oh yeah, that's right, I, uh... I didn't have any left. Ha! Take that! Alright, now let's see... Whoops! Ah, uh, haha. And bait bomb, fish. Ooh, tonic. Ooh, I almost died. That would not have been good for me. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That was very nearly, very bad. Oh boy. Bip, bip, bip. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the stages are much the same. Only our means of traversal are slightly different. Also the fact that we can explode ourselves to greater heights. Which is really, really... Really nice. And apparently there are subtle differences to each stage, which I hadn't expected to be a thing, but I guess it's going to be now. Alright. Okay. Now, this begs the question... Is this a difference to this stage between Plague Knight and Shovel Knight? As far as secret-wise, or is this just like... I mean, at this point, I don't know. I mean, this, this feels like it... It very much feels like it was an alternate path, so... Now, I need to backtrack in order to make sure that I have all of the Cypher Coins! Note to self, always check for alternate... ...paths. Oh, uh, now I gotta like, super backtrack because I screwed up somewhere in there. I don't know, maybe I should have kept going or whatever. It's weird. Okay, there we go. Just get myself up the ladder again. Take care of these darn freaking rats. Oh my gosh. Yep. Okay, there we go. And apparently I missed a cipher coin here too, so that needed to be taken care of. Also, ow! That did not feel good. Oh, man. These guys are being just a bit annoying. Okay, there we go. That one's taken care of. Now, let's see here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that hat chest was right there. And I just completely bypassed it, which was very, very silly of me. But you know what? I know exactly what that is. I think. And if I'm right... This will have been well worth the backtracking. A worthless relic! Eh, maybe someone else wants the rubbish. Okay, so, now that I've gotten the relic... Mind you, Plague Knight doesn't use relics. He uses magic. So, 
Yeah, no, no relics here. We don't want your stinking relics. And there goes that guy. Ooh. Let's do a bit of fishing. Yay. More tonics. Oh, man. I don't think I'll ever get tired of bomb jumping like that. Ooh. Now with this door, he's got to curl him up in the shape of Shovel Knight. Which is apparently doable, but it doesn't look comfortable. Not even a little. And Chester's stuck in the chest. Who to thunk it? Poured in a beaker is stuffed in a bag. Chester's always got the swag. Hey, nice relic, pal. You know, I could take that off your hands and give you something a little more interesting. Oh. Interesting. I like the sound of interesting. Big boom! Potent explosion, far-reaching radius. Very, very useful. Thank you, my good sir. And now, once I've blundered the stuff there, I'm going to get myself out of this thing. And boom! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! 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 Soon, perhaps, but not just now. And... On. There we go, that guy's taken care of now. I don't even have to worry about destroying all these blocks. I can just destroy them all, get all the treasure, and I don't even have to worry about missing a single thing because I can just explode my way up to this ladder. No worries, Mike. Oh. oh, you provoked my ire! Big boom! Big explosion! Very useful. Whoa! Let's not be hasty at that disappearing now. Hoo hoo! <coughs> Alright, and there we go. Let's see here. Grab that. Pop him. Pop that pile. Save the game! And... Uh, I... Actually... Oh, what the heck. I'll pop it. Why not? Oh, yeah. Wait for it to finish doing the fire thing, and also... Ow! Ah! This thing is not nice. But at least it gives me full health after. That's definitely worth it. Ooh, I messed up. Fortunately, recovery is... Not something that's going to be difficult. Unfortunately, I, uh, I'm back down to minimal life, which means I'm going to need to use some of my tonics, probably. I do not like having to wait for the stupid rats to finish moving. Well, fortunately, they're not needed for me to get greater halls of treasure. Not when I can just bomb jump my way to victory. Thank goodness. Ugh. Stop that. 
You know, I actually kind of wonder if his potions are able to block some of the stuff that's thrown at him. I haven't really tried it yet, but I believe it would be worth the... It would be worth a little experimentation to find out. Okay, apparently it can be blocked with the casings. Which is good. That means that I don't have to worry so much about that, thank goodness. And heck. Maybe, hopefully, once I finish going through here. You know, I really hope that I have not left out any exploration here. Because I know that Plague Knight, his secret areas are a bit different in that they're marked by cypher coins. So, um... I guess we'll see how that goes. Okay, there we go. Treasure Ho! Alright, that's taken care of, and now I can just take care of these guys. Or let them take care of themselves. Either way. Either way works for me! Ha! Take that! Mm. All right, we should be getting close to the stage right, uh, uh, close to the end of the stage right now. So, awesome. Oh, hey, sweet, another secret area. Will this also have cypher coins? I'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, I don't see any kind of cypher coins over here. I mean, I should probably... Okay, yeah. I wasn't entirely sure if I properly checked this left wall, but I don't see any cypher coins buried in the wall, so... That's not something I'm going to worry about. Alright, so... Now that that's taken care of, first off, let's see about doing a little bit of fishing for more tonic, which I can't use because I was full up on tonic. But that's easily fixed. Stupid rat. Sweet, more tonic. Ooh, more cypher coins. Neat. Okay, so now I've got more tonic. Which I can now have on me since I oh ooh, more tonic. Ha <laughs> ha. More tonic is always a good thing. Okay, I really hope that I got all of the Cypher Coins in this area so far. Alright, and that takes care of that guy. Now all that's left is the King Knight. Friggin' sweet, yo. Alright, let's trounce this decadent dandy. Constable of Crucibles. I like that. I like that. I think I'm going to use that at some point. <clears throat> I'm the Cauldron Cop! <laughs> uh, true Monarch. Uh-huh. Sure. Whatever. Uh, King Knight, you have no idea what you just got yourself into. And again, it's not like I'm being very careful myself. Hmm. That's actually a strategy I never used before. Usually I bomb towards something and then... 
throw my casings at it. But getting a little bit of distance away from an enemy and then lobbing casings at him while I'm getting a bit more distance away from him. Very effective. Very nice. And now, King Knight, your essence is mine. Give it to me. Yes. And now I have the essence of King Knight. Awesome! Ah, stabilization, huh? Sweet, sweet. <clears throat> of course it's not! A little bit of research would be nice. Yep, that'll do it. All right, now. <clears throat> I assume that each of those four cipher coins represents 40 cipher coins. Ah, the float casing. That will be useful. Fires a blast in front of you when launching. Okay. That sounds fun. I might try that at some point. Ah, the component powder. This is my favorite one. When all three of your casings are exploding on the same spot, they throw four blasts. One up, down, left, and right. And it is great. You'll actually get to see that in the next episode. Hee hee hee. Quick fuse blows up almost immediately when thrown. Yeah. Ooh, Sentry Fuse! I'll take that. I will also take the Hover Casing. Those are going to be useful in some later stages. Alright, and that's it for now. Not even going to worry about the music note bit yet. Oh, hey! Apparently we've got this guy! Let's deal with it. Ooh. Fighting on the planes, huh? Nice. I forget what this is called, but I'm pretty sure it's something to do with, um... Uh, something to do with, uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my money. So now, I've been bopped away, but I will not be denied. I am going to get my stuff back. Matter of fact, let's go for a big boom. Ha! Gotcha! All right, now that that's taken care of, moving forward once again. Nope. No. No. I really hate those skybound enemies. They need to die. Oh, I'm not giving up that easy. I'm getting mine back, and... Yee. Yeah. First, I'm going to get my stuff back. Oh, ho. You dare. You dare. No. Death. <sighs> Go away! Stupid blorb! Okay, now that's taken care of, thankfully. Ha! And stay dead. 
Okay, that takes care of that. And now, finally, I can complete this stage. Sweet. Well, that's it for this episode. As always, if you enjoyed watching, please be sure to like and leave a comment. Subscribe if you want more, and ring that bell if you want to be notified anytime I upload something new. Remember, the bell doesn't appear unless you hit the subscribe button first. So subscribe, then hit the bell, and then you'll always know when I upload something new. And until next time, this is Tormund Zimnis, signing out. Stay frosty, people.